Hi everyone. This is Shinan Pua from Center of Balance DAQ Punctures. Right, um, so tonight we're going to talk about acupressure point for neck pain. So I'm going to show you the, all the acupressure, some acupressure points for neck pain. Well, this is a live, uh, so we're going to start at 7.30. It's actually 7.30 now. Right. Well, if you on this video, right, if you're watching here, please say hi to me. I'm just going to my... Facebook and watch this. So day two of lockdown in New Zealand now. So if you're on this, if you're watching this video, please say hi to me. I'm just going to Wow, do you suffer from neck pain? If yes, please let me know. Type uh type one. To say yes, I'm just and then share this live video. Share this live um, on your Facebook page and tag your friends, your family if they suffer from uh, neck pain, please. Because are we going to? I'm going to um, show you some acupressure points. All right. Thank you. I see that you guys are online now. Please share this live video so more and more people be able to watch this. Thank you. So I'm going to show you some... Um, we'll show you very gentle exercise not exercise as you testing out whether you have neck pain or not okay it's so simple i'm going to show you some um, range of movements so you can test it out yourself then when you figure out this pain then i'm going to show you some acupressure point that you can work on your hand so uh, it can give you um you be able to feel we live from neck pain. Hi Ali, how are you? Thank you for joining. Thank you for saying hello. I'm just waiting for some more people come. So please share this live video. I'm trying to um, go to my page and share all my um, Okay, now if you on here, please, please test out your neck first. So by turning your head to your side and the others, to see whether you have any tension. Can you do the full range of movement by turning your head to the side, left and right, left and right. I'm just crossing the door properly. I'm going to share that video to this live video. So please share the live video. I have some people that actually um, signing up. I know some of you may not um, may not be able to watch this live video joining. So don't you worry. Uh, Facebook will automatic recording this and I'm going to, I'm going to um, I'm going to um, up to YouTube and then send it to everyone Okay All Right first I'm going to show you here. So move your head from side and to the other side in my case, at the moment, I can, when I go to the end, I feel a bit of 
tension in my neck over here all right so i need to mark this okay by saying mark this is memorize this all right this is some tension over here so first it's very important to check it out first all right check out whether you have pain or not now you may have pain already that without any movement of your head of your neck if you feel pain then ask yourself out of 10 which for 0 to 10 for 0 to 10 how bad is the pain is it in 7 or 8 or 9 or 5 or just one or two All right then ask yourself first because what happened here is when I show you the acupressure point and after that when you work out work with the point and you need to ask yourself the question again is the pain reduced if it was 10 before the acupressure point and it dropped to not 10 to 9 or to 8 or to 5 and that's great which means it's working right so ask yourself if if you're not moving your head at the moment do you feel any pain if you do please write it down is it 6 or 8 or 9 for me no pain right then further on the next the next thing that you're going to do is turn your head to the side but for me when i turn it that way i feel some tension and that tension just one or two it's not too bad right i can't it's not pain i can just feel a little bit tension in here but tightness in here but there's no pain right for you i don't know tell me put it down whether it's one or two or three or six turning to what side please type it down there and let me know and turn it to my left side i feel nothing and on that side nothing so that's zero that's number one right or that's number two number one is without any movement you ask yourself whether there's any pain or tension in your neck can you feel anything at all number two is turning to your right side and left side and write down whether there's pain or tightness or stiffness if there's any pain tightness stiffness please write it down out of 10 what is the level of the tightness or pain number three forward and backwards now for me forward i feel a little bit tension Again, it's not painful for me. It's not painful for me. Just about tightness. When I go to the end, I can feel only on one side. This again is about one or two. It's not a serious pain. Then backwards. For me, when I go backward, I feel a bit in here. Nothing in here. Or just a little tiny bit when I put it back. On my neck over here so mainly on that side again one or two tension there's no pain for me what about you so write it down because when you test it all out after the exercise after the acupressure point you're gonna test it out again okay right then number one two three number four turn your bring your ear to the side to the right side to the end of here i can't feel anything in here i feel a bit of tension just about one over that side what about you do you have any pain then go to the other side for me again a bit of tension just about one that's it so pretty good i have pretty good there's no pain now again Number five, ask yourself, do you have any headaches? Is there any pain in your shoulder? If there, this is all the examination. You need to test out all this. Ask yourself all this question. Because once we have all, once I show you all the acupressure point, then you're going to do all the tests again. And ask yourself the same question, whether it's intention, pain, or whatever. 
Okay, ask yourself, is there any headache? Is the headache in the front, side, top, or your back? Write all down and ask yourself, when there's a pain, ask yourself, how bad is it out of 10? Right? And ask yourself, where there's any tension around here, in your shoulder, over here. Because neck pain always come with some tension in the shoulder or headaches or even upper back right if there is any pain please write it down and ask yourself whether they are two out of ten ten or three out of ten or whatever thank you ali Sh slight tension around three both sides when bending forward thank you very much all right, now I'm going to show you some uh, some meridian over here. Now over here, what I'm going to show you is acupressure point. Well, I know some of you are an acupuncturist over here. When I show you all this point, this video is mainly for my patient, right? For anyone who want to do some acupressure point at home while locked down. If you have, hi Anne, how are you? <laughs> so if this is day two of lockdown in New Zealand, we don't know how long it's gonna go because we expect tomorrow is the last day, but we don't know yet, right? We don't know. Hi Carol, how are you? So. I'm here to show you some acupressure point. Then you can sh do it yourself for your neck pain. Or if any of your family members, your friends, your daughter, or whoever suffer from neck pain, then this is something that you can help them by doing acupressure point. Right. So now I'm going to show you the acupuncture man over here. So, neck pain, as you see, that's all the red line over here. There are a lot of meridian, we call it meridian. And keep in mind, all this meridian are connect to one of the organs. One of the organs. Then, by treating neck pain, we have two simple strategies. Very simple strategy. Number one is local point local point strategy number two is distal point strategy so what does it mean it means if you have neck pain then we can work some point along your neck here so just go and press those point around your neck this is local acupuncture point if i'm an acupuncturist if you're an acupuncturist you can put needle along the neck to treat neck pain. Well, a physiotherapist, chiropractor, osteopath, we all work in here. Massage therapy, we all work in here, right? Yes, and same as acupuncturist, we can do some point over here. Now, because based of the meridian theory and how they connect to the organs and how the meridian runs through your body, hands, legs, head, from the inside to the outside, then we understand that when we work on the hands or the legs, then it can through the point on the hands to your brain to connect to here or through the organs to connect to here to get some relief on the hands. On another uh, a way to explain that is we can work some point here and those points correspond to your neck. Does it make sense? All right. That's what I'm going to show you today over here. By just doing your fingers. I was doing the neck stretch, neck pain stretching earlier. Fighting off a migraine. That's great, Carol. You're awesome. Well, if you have migraine or you have, you, you get, headaches often uh, 
and you also have some pain or tightness in your neck come with the headache or migraine then this acupressure point today I'm going to show you is going to help with your headache and migraine as well now you may not get migraine every day but once a week once a month once every two weeks once a year whatever how often that you get the migraine then what happened today is when you learn all this point you're gonna free up your neck once you free up your neck then that can prevent migraine or headache does it make sense because migraine and headaches could cause from tight neck okay um, I want to let you know before I really show you the point is uh, this point will give you instant relief about 90% of people it will work you respond to it but the 10% of people it won't respond to it and that is because you have very bad structure issues and that is because your organs hasn't got enough energy and blood circulation because when we work on here we are trying to stimulate the points to correspond to your neck and all when all meridians blood flow increase in this area and you started to feel relief and some of you may feel heat or hot or some sensation that's warming sensation around your neck and then you start to feel relief right and that's because it increased the blood circulation and it works that way is because when we stimulate all this point it corresponds to here it actually stimulate the organs function when the organs function better then you have better circulation in the organs and when your organs circulation better then the meridian circulation will be better that's how it will relieve the pain in your neck now if your organs are very weak and you stimulate all this point then your organs start to function but it hasn't got enough energy and blood to supply the function that is when it doesn't work well for the pain so therefore you need to build up your organ functions by eating the right food by probably take some herbs so acupressure point will work for you but in some cases some cases you may find it it doesn't work as well as you expected it to work right that makes sense why right, let's start it's very simple there is few technique that I'm going to show you once you can use your thumb second you can use your knuckle right thumb or knuckle when you use your thumb you want to use your index finger to press on the the joint over here in the thumb so to to stabilize your thumb and then you work on the point like this okay second use your knuckle so in this fingers fully bend your in this fingers then use your thumb to lock your fingernail over here so if you don't if you don't do this it's just do this and then you try to press you may lose up your you may lose the, the joint is loose you're not lock, locking it so you want to use your thumb over here to lock it so it's stabilized i hope that makes sense to you now this is the two technique this is your massage tool Okay, acupressure point two. Then next, 
how to locate the point. The point is over here. So in the thumb between the thumb and the index fingers over here in this area. I'm going to draw it for you. Between the thumb and the index fingers the point that next to the second metatarsal bone, which is the second uh, uh, um, fingers. And the, th the other point is in between the index finger and the middle fingers between here, on the palm area, on the hand area, not on the fingers, right? Over here. Let's mark it down in here. Third, it's over here between the middle fingers and the ring fingers. Here's another point. Fourth between the ring fingers and the little fingers over here. As you can see over here. Fifth is on the side of the little fingers on the palm area over here. If you make a fist, you see that this point pointing up, this is in the end of the crease, all right? And at this level, going toward to the bone over here. So in this level, go toward to here. You see, in this level, same level is actually, if you make a fist, same level and then next to the bone, okay? All right, you see all this point? So now, Let's start it with your thumb. Press it over here. And on this point and toward. I think I missed the point just now. Right? So toward to the bone. And to find a sensitive point over there and work on it. Okay. Just work on it like this. Then if you're an acupuncturist, needle here, 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 and here. Five needles. Well, I'm going to show you some technique with your hand and your uh, 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 knuckle, right? Because you don't have needles. You're not an acupuncturist. So this is the easier way to work by one by one. So press it here. And you find a sensitive point. So when you press here, and you, you can wrap it toward to the bone and press a harder bit and you hit the point, you hit the sensitive point and rub it for 30 seconds or you rub it for 10 times and release it and rub it again for 10 times and release it and rub it again for three times, right? When you finish it, so work up with me please. Can you find a point? If you can, rub it. And then while you rub the point, move your head to the side, forward and backwards. And then bring your ear to the side. Just like, you must get to the point, right? If you find that there's no point over there, there's no sensitive point over there, you can skip it to the next one over here. Right, so in this one, I'm going to use my knuckle. So use my knuckle. Okay, I feel the tension in here. So use my knuckle over here. Over here, use a knuckle. You can use your thumb as well, up to you. So when you, when you use a knuckle, you work on it. You want to work, you know. This is the force you go in. You can go up, go down. Go to the side, and it's up to you, okay? Go down, to go toward to it, and then up, down, sideways, right? To reach, to find a sensitive point, right? I've got, uh, let me find it. So for me, it's more toward to the middle finger bone, metatarsal bone here, the middle one, and I feel more tension. So when I hit the point, while I keep doing it, I'm turn my head forward and backwards and bring my ear to the side that's it 
Then we'll do the next one over here between the middle and the ring fingers over here. So I'm going to use my uh, in uh, in this fingers because therefore I that way I can show you how I work on it. So I'm going to work to the ring fingers. And then we we'll work to it to the middle fingers. And I find again to it to the middle finger that is more sensitive for me. Okay, so I'm going to keep working on it. And while I work on it, I turn my head to the side for about three times. And then a forward and backwards. Very simple. Then my hip, ear to the sideway. That's it. Okay. Then I'm going to work on here between the little fingers and the ring fingers. Again, I'm going to use my index finger and press on here and toward to the uh, middle fingers joint here. I find, okay, not as bad. I'm going to press on, use my thumb to press on toward the other side. Uh, not as bad either. So, well, I'm, anyway, I'm going to do it for you uh, to show you how I do it because you may feel it, okay? Because I'm going to wait for you, okay? I'm going to take time to work on it. And while I do it, and I turn my head to the side about three times. I can do more than that if I wanted to, forward and backwards. And bring my ear to the side. Okay. I can do more if I wanted to. Okay, last one over here. Right. So I I would like to use my knuckle because this one I need to press it harder. And whenever my I use my thumb, I seems to lose it very easily. I can do it this way, but I haven't got much strength in my thumb sometimes. I can do it like this. Press it toward to the bone. Okay, I, I like to use my uh, oh, this one is very sensitive for me. All right, so I got I hit the point while I do it. I ch turn my head to the side. Okay, do it with me. Forward and backwards. This is something that you can do at home. While the doctor locked down, you can't see your physio, you can't see your, um, you can't visit your um, uh, doctor or osteopath, chiropractor, acupuncturist, uh, or massage therapies, then you feel very uncomfortable in your neck, and that's something that you can do for yourself. It's very simple, everyone can do it. Okay. I have quite free neck at the moment. I feel warm in my neck. What about you? All right. That's it. Very simple. Very, very simple. Okay. Very simple. That's it for today. You see, I work all this point here now. And what happened right now, if you're following me just now, please check it out again by moving your neck to the side. Okay, I can still feel a little bit in here, but that is about 0.5. It works very well for me. What about you? Has it been working for you? Right, again, 90% of people will feel much better. But some people feel, nah, it doesn't work for me. Right? For those people, it's because you have very bad structure issues seeking your organs function are low so you need to get an acupuncturist or chinese medicines change your diet to build up your organ functions okay all right next when you turn this ask yourself is the tension of the pain still there or not if it is 
Ask yourself, how bad is it out of 10? If it's 2 or 1, then if before that it was 5, and now it's 2 and 1, and that's good. Right? Carol said, good timing, feels better. That's fantastic. Thank you. Then next, forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. For me, I said that it was slightly one or two before, and now I can still feel a little bit in here. Nothing in here, just a little bit in here. That's about 0.5 again. That's about 0.5. Right? It was one or two. Tension, no pain, but now it's about 0.5. Okay. Now, bring the ear to the side. Pretty good. No tightness to the other side. That's good. No tightness, but a little bit of tightness. When I bend over here, I feel a little bit in here. Again, 0.5. For me, just a little bit. It's better than 1 to 2 just now before I do the acupressure point. Now, for me, that is 0.5. It's pretty good. But if I want to get it all done, what can I do? The two things that you can do. One, keep going. Give it another one. Give it another go. Right? Two, put a heat pack on. A heat pack around your neck. A heat pack around your neck. And it's good enough, it will remove my tension, that 0.5 for my neck. Does it make sense to you? Alright, so you can do two action when the full following action, if it's working, you test it out, this strategy is working for you. The distal point strategy over here is working for you. Then put a heat pack on or give it another go. Right? It's so simple. Now, if you get the tightness or neck pain often, you've been living with it for years, and you can feel it every day, or it even gives you headaches or migraine or tension in your shoulder. What you're going to do is you just test it out. It works for you. Keep doing it every day. This strategy become your daily practice. Okay, this acupressure point exercise become your daily practice. Do it every day. You can do it at least once a day in the morning or before bed. Now after you. And whenever you feel bad in your neck, there's a lot of pain, a lot of tension in there, you give it another time. But even though you don't feel any pain in there, give it a go. Because you want to prevent the pain come back. And your mission is get rid of all the tension spot over here. Hey, not just here. You feel good. There's no pain or no tightness or no tension over there. It doesn't mean you fix. As long as you still have tension over here. Right? Get rid of the tension to make sure there's more blood flow over there. Then you're good. Now, again. You may feel it when it come to um, a certain, like the pain was 9 out of 10 every day. And after you're working on here, it dropped down to 4 out of 10, 2 out of 10, 1 out of 10. That's fantastic. And you keep going for weeks and weeks or month or month, not seem to be able to get rid of all the pain or the tension. What's next? That is the point that you need to get an acupuncturist or Chinese herbalist to look it up for you, to look after you, because that maybe the little one is caused by posture, is caused by that something that in your diet is not right for you, or it caused by your sleeping position is not right for you, or it's caused by because you have some stress or emotional or anxious in there that it keep um, your it keep your um, organ 
not functioning properly, then that's still a little bit in there. Okay? So therefore you need an acupuncturist to help you work further. Does it make sense to you? I hope it may all makes sense to you. Um, then again, yeah, you need to ask yourself, well, when we work on that neck, ask yourself about your headache and your migraine, and what about the tension in your shoulder and your upper back, right? This is just one of the strategy. We have many, many strategy that we can show you at some point on your ankle, wrist, for your neck pain, or even some strategy on the neck that for your neck pain. And this is just one of the strategy that is easy, that everyone can do it yourself at home, and it's very safe, you're not gonna hurt your neck. If I show you some acupressure point on your neck, you may do it, do it, and you get your family to rub it, rub it, and then if your family members rub it too hard for you, and you get a lot of pain afterward, that's not good. Right. So the reason I show you this toe point is because I want you to work on here, you move it, if it works, continue. If it doesn't work, means that they may not work for you, the strategy is not right for you, then you go for the next strategy. Right. You can put your uh, um, uh, comment down there and let me know what uh, whether I can help you even further. Or you should go and get an acupuncturist to help you, or even osteopath or chiropractor, and they're good. They have very good treatment for neck pain as well. Okay, that's it for today. Do you have any question? Now, this video will be recorded on my uh, Facebook page, and this will be there all the time. So, please share this live video to your friend, your family, or tag their name down there so they be able to watch this video and help themselves at home, okay? Especially lockdown time. And if you're on YouTube, please, I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube. Please uh, send the link, share it with your friend and family as well, okay? That's it for today, and for all the people that you have joined my um uh register the to the link i'll send you the youtube link as well so you can watch it again and the link will be in your email so whenever you want to rewatch this video uh, to work for your neck then you'll be able to find the link okay um another thing is stay awesome stay cool and stay safe at home while locked down and this is day two and I'm going to show you some other live video and I'm going to set up a, 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 um, a link to you guys to get you to join and I'm going to put out a time so everyone can uh, um, prepare to join for the next live video and comment down there and if you want me to talk uh, uh, other strategy for you for your neck or for your back pain, for example, for any kind of topic, you know, put it down there and I am not guaranteed I can do it for you, but I'll consider that I'll do it uh, uh, for you guys in the future. All right. Thank you. Stay awesome. And everyone have a good night. See you. Bye-bye.